What's going on, guys? How you doing? We got the second video of Age of Mythology ever on this little channel. And today, we're going to be going up against... We're going to be seeing I Am Raven. I Am Raven? I Am Raven? That's so Raven. We're going up against Keen Victor. So I had to do that little dance. And uh, everything's still a little bit new. Okay, everything's still a little bit new. But it's all it's exciting. It's so exciting. Uh, guys, this this game, honestly, it's it's fun. It's really, really fun. I've been playing it for uh, only a couple of days now, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And uh, But I don't know a lot, okay? So you have to bear with me because there's a lot I do not know. But I did see this game, and it was a really exciting game, and it might be a good kind of game for all of us. I know my channel is predominantly Age of Empires 3, um, so a lot of you Age of Empires 3 guys out there, you you know, you you might you might not know as much as well. So it'll be a good kind of game for us to kind of get into it. And it's going to be a big learning curve. There's a lot to learn with this game. But I'll tell you one thing. First impressions. One, it's super fun. Really, really fun game. Uh, and two, it's going to have a very high skill ceiling. It's so diverse. There's so many different gods. There's so much different powers to choose from there's so many build orders there's so many different units you can make it's it's gonna make for a really fun game guys so if you i know this is only the beta uh, but when the game does come out you know there'll be more content as well i did get the premium edition so i will be getting the game a week early so i'll be showing you boys uh, i am the guinea pig so uh, i will be showing you boys some of the game and uh, if you guys are interested i would strongly suggest you uh give this a go so looking at the game here, we've got, uh, I believe that's Hades. So we are on the map, uh, Giza, 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 why right, Giza? Uh, so yeah, we've got Hades. Iron Raven is playing as Hades, which is something, someone I've been playing a lot with as well. I've been enjoying Hades and it's thanks to this Sentinel power. Really, really fun. Going up against Keen, who is going as Odin. One thing you notice here, uh, a couple of things that I've learned this game so far is we'll put it on normal speed that might actually help mightn't it uh the ui's gonna you know the ui seems really nice and there, there are some teething problems in this beta but it but as a whole it's 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 got so much potential so we see here that uh why is it not going normal speed as well i'm not sure why i can't get it to normal speed Please the replay in standard speed okay there we go i think this is is this is this standard speed this feels I don't know. I don't know. Let's pause it and then play it at normal speed. Well, it looks like it's going a little fast, but, you know, hey, that's that. we're just going to have to deal with that, I think. Um, so one thing you notice about the Norse god here is that they start with these all-purpose mobile drop sites. And uh, you can build them as well. So ox carts, they're called. So if we take a look over uh, on this side of the map, you'll see that... Um, Oh, wow, what's happening here? Oh, the age up's just coming at four minutes. That seems like an early age up, and Keen is just aged up as well. So, really early age ups uh, at four minutes for both of these guys. You see these uh, storehouses. Um, that's essentially what those ox carts do. And uh, just play this a little bit slowly here. I think that's normal speed. So, um, one thing to notice here. There's so much going on already. There is so much going on. We've got Scout versus man. Scout over here. We've got a Hero over here. There's a little bit of action going on. Maybe he's going to try and pick up uh, one of these arrows of the Afar. Uh, one of these monuments, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, when you age up in Age of Mythology, you get an extra power. Okay? So you start with the Sentinel power here. He went up to age two and he got the Pestilence power. Likewise, the Norse God, he has the Great Hunt. And then when he aged up, he got the forest prowler. So when you age up, you get two options, okay? You get two kind of demigod options of aging up. And they will they will give you different powers and they will give you different unique stats and bonuses as well. One thing to notice here, you might have seen all of these towers. So these sentry towers that, that spawn around your TC, you'll see on both sides that they get these sentry towers here and here. Um, they don't, you you can't, they don't fire. They're like outposts, okay? They don't fire until you upgrade them, all right? And uh, with the power, this sentinel power here, it gives you, and the first, the first god power is always free. The first god power is free. And then when you send it again, it does cost resources. So this sentinel power here turns all of these outposts into these kind of Troy-like guardians, sentinels. And look how, look how, can we just appreciate how badass that is? Look how cool these guys are. Wait till you see them firing. They're, they look so cool when they fire. A little bit of early aggression here by Reven. 
You see, he's got some myth. He's got a myth unit there, but that that looks like a hero to me. Bjorn of the Barrow, and you see here that there's the, the counter system is quite a lot to take in as well to begin with. But basically, all you need to know is heroes they do really well versus myth units. Myth units, uh, mythical units do really well versus standard human units. Okay, so let's go have a look at Victor, see what he's up to. So Victor is in the south in red. Like we said, he's got all of these ox carts. And look, there, there he is building one. It's a really good example there of just building an ox cart and then leaving it next to the berries. And Age of Mythology, resource gather is different to Age of Empires 3. Um, they, it's like Age of Empires 2, so they do gather a certain amount of resources and then they have to drop it off. So we've got Achilles, which is a hero unit. We've got two hero units here. We've got Ajax as well. And then we've got Toxities, which are like bow and arrows type units. Yow. Nice. Gonna try and take down this outpost. Yo. Oh, but Bjorn of the Barrow's coming in. Well, they're swinging those hammers. Holy hell. We've got that big boy Cyclops in the back. Look at him just throw that guy, manhandle him. Whoa, hey, man overboard. And he bounced off the tree. And he was he's been out of action the entire time. My goodness me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, boys. This game is hilarious. But it's also going to be very, very competitive. Look at that shield. Look at the design on that shield. Very, very cool. It's got like a tiger or a lion face on it. And some of these myth units are absolutely hilarious. They pick people up and they lob them. It's absolutely, you get like Medusa units, which can stun people and turn them into stone. Uh, there's, there's, there's so many cool effects in this game. There really is. So both of them still age two at the moment. That watchtower did not go down. We've got a great hole, two great holes here. Uh, we've got some raiding cavalry coming in. Okay. Do you have a longhouse, which is like a barracks? There we go. There, there's that relic that he's just picked up. Now, this relic, as far as I'm aware, this relic, you drop it off to your, like, holy building. And uh, it will give you a small trickle of this influence. I can't remember what it's called. It's like the, what you use for your god powers. Will it tell me what it's called? I don't think it will. So there's, uh, there's like, four main resources. So you've got the standard food. Gold, wood, and this, uh, the god power. Mythical something. Nice, nice raiding here. Look at this. Went over here with the ox cart. Decided to go for a cheeky, cheeky raid, which is really nice. And you see here, there's, you know, we're at the sort of eight minute mark and there's no crazy rush going on here. Takes a villager down. Likely going to take two villagers down. Huge raid here. He's going to get the third, I think. Maybe try and go for the fourth as well. Okay, I probably would have gone for the fourth. A couple more bows coming in. But raiding cavalry coming in now. And that should clean up these uh, these bow and arrows. Fox Court goes back. But that was a nice cheeky raid. Is he going to be able to run away? Now, the snaring mechanic is, um, is not the same in Age of Empires 3 at all. Okay, little skirmish going on here. Nice micro. The cavalry go onto the bow and arrows. This guy walks back, but I think he needs to get back in there. There's no mythical units, though. Just a couple of heroes. So the cavalry should be able to clean up the bow and arrows and then just run out of there. But it feels like he could have beaten them. But he's got reinforcements, so he's going to be fine. Got some raiding going on over here. This side as well. Now he's sieging down the granary. So it's going on on all fronts right now. The sentry still haven't seen much uh, sentinel sorry still haven't seen much action a little bit of a score deficit now looking good for keen so this is the norse power this is the norse god so far we haven't seen any of the powers i don't believe yet the ui is really nice for casting as well you see up the top here it gives you all of the stats really you need to know like villagers the resources gathering Population space. Really, really nice. Really, really nice UI. Really makes for a really clean 
Um, kind of casting. And look, there come. There's the Sentinels. Look at them. It's basically like a mythical unit standing as a uh, on, on a watchtower. It's just so cool. And when all of these start getting action, and they're actually really powerful as well. They're actually really, really powerful. So that's that's thanks to this first power. And, uh, you know, me being a uh, being a toxic turtle player, I can see myself being a Hades main, if I dare say so myself. Nice little cheeky wall going down. Going to protect these villagers here. I like that. And you see from the age up, with each age up, with each god that you choose to age up with as well, you get a, a mythical unit. Um, so he's aged up to age three now, Reven. And he's going to be getting this uh, Nemean lion. Look at that bad boy. That bad, fierce boy. 792 HP. And you see here, I, I like the UI for the uh, the damage as well. And it tells you in damage, when you highlight it, it tells you damage per second, which is a really cool way of looking at damage because it needs to it needs to factor in the rate of fire, the rate of attack. Huge raiding cavalry coming in now, though. Fortunately, they're coming in at the wrong side. They're not really going to find anything here. They're just going to be met by TC fire and Sentinel fire. I do love, I absolutely love the fire animation of these Sentinels. Honestly, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> it just looks so cool. It looks so smooth. And I'll tell you what, this game feels smooth. And it's got that Age of Empires 3 feel to it. Obviously, that makes sense because it's from the Age of Empires 3 engine. So any of you Age of Empires 3 guys out there, yes, it might look more like Age of Empires 4 or Age of Empires 2. Oh, and look at that. All of those cavalry got turned to... Oh, those little piggies. There were so many cab. There's, there was like 10 cab there that got just turned into piggy wiggies. <laughs> and he's going to be able to eat that as like livestock. And uh, that was hilarious. And that's thanks to the Hades power here, Curse, which uh, targets nearby enemy soldiers to turn several of their units into pigs. Or well, several of their units was all of their units in that instance. <laughs> what a turnaround. And that's that's the... That's the power of aging up in this game. You get that power, that initial god power for free the first time you use it. The second time, look, you see it's going to cost. Um, he hasn't used Pestilence yet. Oh, as I say that, he does use Pestilence. He's using all the god powers now. So Pestilence is going to slow down the production of buildings, target an enemy town to inflict it with the plague. The bubonic plague, the pestilence prevents buildings from firing projectiles and slows unit production. So that's a pretty good power, especially if you're pushing in like he is now. So we've got some bow and arrows, standard human units here. Then we've got some mythical units. These mythical units are very good against... It feels like most things other than heroes, which have a huge bonus, like 5.5 bonus versus myth units. So you want to you stay well away from these these hero type units. Big skirmish going on here. Not really sure what's going to happen. Nice micro with the lions here. You can see he's keeping them well out of harm's way against these heroes. Those heroes, they just dived in somewhere. They, they, they went into the watchtower. I'm not really sure what happened there. And look, look at the huge damage multiplier. These things have seven, nearly 800 HP. And they were getting mauled. Definitely want to save those lions. They're expensive units. Again, nice micro here. Look, he's microing in and out of this watchtower. He's waiting. He's baiting in these lions. And then as soon as the lions get there, he's going to pop them out. But he's not going to decide to attack this time around. He's going to decide to run them away. Feels like he can't take this right now. He needs more units, more stuff. Oh, huge amount of cavalry coming in, though. Oh, is he going to attack move with them, though? Oh, and you saw that power. Look, they're all stunned. They're all dizzy. That's that power of that mythical uh, lion unit. We saw early with the Cyclops, his special ability is just lobbing people left, right, and center. WWE style. <laughs> The, the ability of that lion was to stun large groups of units. And now these cavalry should be able to clean up these, cav uh, these bow and arrows. Bow and arrows are weak to cavalry. 
I'm not sure what these units are. They're not hero units, but they, they act like hero units because they have a multiplier versus myth unit. So I'm guessing that's like a Norse special ability. 41 bills for Keen right now and 37 for Reven. And look at all those piggy wiggies. Squeal for my piggy. Whee! Looks like Keen's trying to get down, or he was trying to get down another town center here. More mythical units, Shade of Hades. You see here we've got some Pegasus. That's only a scout though, can't do any damage. And now we've got a switcheroonie. Keen biting off a little bit more than he can chew. Legend. Oh, looks like it's Keen's turn. I did see that dong, that bell, and it looks like Keen's got into age three as well. So he's going to get an extra power here. You know, this power is going to be called Frost, and he target nearby enemy units to freeze them solid for a short period of time. Frozen units cannot move, but are very hard to kill. Interesting. Looks like that can be used for a lot of, could be used for running away tactics, could be used for pushing in tactics. Feels like that's a really versatile power. And we see here his age up mythical unit is this frost giant. Oh, and look. Oh, it's frozen this thing still. <laughs> what a cool ability that is. Oh, wow. See you later, alligator. Really cool stuff there. Got to see that frost giant special ability. And we got to see that. God damn, that frost giant is thick, boy. Shake that thing, Miss Gunna Gunna. Can you, can you hear it as well? I don't know if you guys, you'll be able, to be able to hear that, but each footstep. But there's so much, there's so much kind of design. That I really, really, it's a really, really good game. There's a couple of teething problems, which I hope they sort before release. But if they can sort it, my God, this game is going to be a, a real success. It really is. Oh, and we've got something happening here. I have absolutely no idea. We've got a forest fire. Man's... Where's this power come from? Is this the power of Australia? Forest fires everywhere. Oh, it's this power here. The forest fire. Target a forest to burn it to smoldering embers, damaging nearby units and buildings. Nice. Not quite as versatile as is frost. Sounds like it has to be near a forest. Which definitely feels like uh, your opponent could be aware of that and can kind of stay stay clear of that. Couple of forest giants out now. Villager counts very, very close. There's one villager in it. Although Red Keen does have the superior mass right now. 131 pop to 93 pop. So definitely has the, uh, the better army right now. You'll notice here that town centers are kind of built on on these, I don't know what you want to call them, but these kind of sites here. Uh, and you have to build town centers on these sites. I, you can build village centers, I think they're called, or something like that. So they're kind of like semi-town centers, and you can build them anywhere on the map. I don't really know the ins and outs of it yet, but it feels like a town set. They feel like you can build villages from them. So they're kind of like a pseudo-town center, but they're not as strong. Um, and there's 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 a couple of drawbacks to them as well. So I, I need, to, need to learn the game in a bit more detail first, but... I'm sure the comments will help me out there. Oh, look at these bad boy frost giants. They're on the march. Is he trying to secure here? We've got some attack revealers now. Still a lot of these, uh, these units. I feel like they are heroes, but I don't know. Lots of uh, medium raiding cavalry now. So he has upgraded them. So you'll notice that uh, uh, with the human type units, they get medium and heavy, you know, added onto their names. That That's basically like from Age of Empires 3. That's like veterancy or elite or, you know, guard techs and things like that. A hill fort going down. Let's have a look over at Blue, see what's going on here. Still got these, uh, these juicy sentinels guarding. And that's probably why Red hasn't pushed in yet. And he just wants to take the map, which is clearly he's going up to three TCs here. Um, and uh, he's going to, he's definitely going to be, we already see him pulling away on the villager count. He's already up in the military count. 
So this could, this could be a problem for Reven right now. I'm not sure what his game plan is. Maybe it's to try and age up. He's getting another military academy down. He's got his temple. You can pray at this temple, and that's how you build that mythological um, resource. You see here, villagers praying. Hi, 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 Pray to whatever god it is you're praying to, which is Hades. I'm not sure praying to Hades is a good idea, but... Uh... Prostagma. Prostagma. Nice. A little raiding cavalry over here. Keeping an eye on this herd. But he wants to get near this gold mine. Huge raiding potential on this gold mine. And it feels like raiding in this game is going to be absolutely huge. Oh, h Force coming in. Artemis. So that's the god he's going to be going up with. He's going to be worshipping Artemis and uh, the goddess of the hunt and nature. Her improvements aid hunters and ranged soldiers. Let's see what the power is going to be. There it comes. Oh, it's going to be an earthquake. <laughs> I've seen that before. Wait, if we see this earthquake, you guys wait. It is absolutely brilliant. Just absolute destruction. The ground goes all jelly, wibbly, wobbly. Wibbly, wibbly. Jelly on the plate. And it's a really cool, it's a really, really cool god power. But look at the score difference right now. Teen is up in score by about 4,000. He's also massively up in the population count. So look at this army right now. Also up in villagers as well by almost 20. So Eco, he's got the Eco lead. Keen has the military lead. The only thing he doesn't have is the age up. And is that going to be the difference here? Heavy infantry coming in. But is that going to be enough? Cat we got a catapult. I'm not saying Pretobolus. You, I, I'm gonna. I, I will forever call that a catapult because that's exactly what it is. <laughs> More myth, myth units coming in. That was his myth unit from the Aja. Frost Giants getting their freezer abilities off. We got ourselves a slobber knocker in the middle here. Oh, it's looking massively favoured for Red. He's got all of these guys in the background chucking spears. We got, we do have a fortress here though. Didn't even see that. This fortress wails on the damage. We got an earthquake. There's that power. But is it too little, too late? You see it doing damage to buildings here. Look at the effects of that earthquake ability. So, so cool. But I don't think it's going to be enough to save him. <laughs> I told you, wibbly wobbly. Frost giants are just absolutely massacring everything. Nice, more sentinels coming in. That's that first power used again to help defend with this fortress. Is it going to be enough to take everything on though? These things do a lot of damage. They even attack buildings, look. Frost Giants. Gonna wail on them, do so much siege damage. He needs to target that Frost Giant. Get your fortress to target the Frost Giant. <laughs> that frozen spell again. Stuck in ice. There goes down one of those sentinels. The second sentinel goes down. He still has a few of them left, and he still has a fort left. Listen to that godlike music to end a game. You can't be mad for losing the game. It was an epic last fight, but like we said, Red just had too much stuff there, and Blue was really trying to turtle there, get the age up. And uh, unfortunately, just wasn't enough. I would have loved to have seen the curse effect again. <laughs> Saw those guys get turned into piggy wiggies. That was my favorite thing all game. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that might actually be the thumbnail. <laughs> what a fantastic uh, first casted game. Um, nice, nice kind of basic game. Nothing too much crazy happened. Um, I need to learn the, the civilizations more so I can kind of explain more what's going on. But, you know, I will be playing the game in the beta a lot more. I'll, you know, I'll be learning. And when the game comes out, I'll be playing it quite a bit as well. 
Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A really good display of almost every single power I think was used there. Almost, almost every single power. Um, so guys, hope you enjoyed that one. And I will catch you in the next Age of Mythology game. Peace out.